What's up, BK fam? We're back with another video. So, today we are going to talk about our pregnancy journey during the first trust trimester. Cause yes. Pregnant. And how we got pregnant as a lesbian couple, how it has been. Yeah. And yeah, just to give y'all a little update. We're going to rewind back to when we first... Well, y'all already know about the last donor, so we can talk about how that went, y'all, um, and how we found the donors that we did find. Yeah, our first donor wasn't bad, but he just wanted some money. Like He was genuine enough not to mess with us because we was meeting him in hotels and shit. We was driving to Oklahoma yeah. like three to four hours to go meet this man. We mm -hmm. donated yeah, with him like... Yeah, we got like six donations from him. We worked with him for about six months of our journey, I would mm -hmm. say. Six to eight months. Um, and was paying him for the donations. Like some, yes. some donors you don't have to, you don't have to pay or you can have a choice or whatever, but we was paying him. So paying you for the shit and then on top of rentals and hotels and gas man. and all of this shit. It's just, no. Yeah, it was, it was a lot and it was just messed up of him for what he did. But, I mean, life goes on, so we yeah. decided to move on. We even reached out to a close friend, mm -hmm. thinking that was going to be a good idea, but... It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. saying that it ruined the relationship around like that, but it was just like... We it was just waited. like... Yeah, it was, yeah, we could have waited, and mm -hmm. it was a bit awkward. We were just desperate at that point because we had been trying for months and months, and we were just ready to be pregnant already, and shit to find that shit out with the other donor it was like he ghosted us y'all like literally ghosted mm -hmm. us like we set up the next time we're supposed to meet and everything ghosted us i think this was right before christmas because we're supposed to come back come to him um uh, i think it was christmas eve or mm -hmm. the day be the, the day before christmas eve or something like that we're supposed to do our donation ghosted us glad we didn't book anything we didn't we were renting cars y'all like it was just so crazy how much money we spent with the first donor, yeah. So he, I was gonna say that was the that was the second one, but yeah, so the first one. Yeah, he really was the second donor, yeah, but the first one didn't even fucking like get far. Yeah, he like, he yeah. was in Washington and he was supposed to come down here. It was just a lot of uh, bullshit. Yeah. But by <sighs> the time that we had, um, I guess I won't I won't say got rid, but by the time we found a new one, the we should have made this like post on Facebook and um. Yeah, it was this couple. Well, the couple, I would say a couple, yeah, his yeah. wife had. It was already a sperm donor. Yeah. Um, like a group for people who's looking for sperm. I mean, they were cool. The wife really reached out to us and was like, hey, like my husband already, you know what I'm saying, is a donor or whatever, so we would like to help y'all. We never really talked to the actual donor, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But it was really just like the wife, and then like, we all got on the FaceTime, and they're really, 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 really sweet. Yeah, um, we just felt way more comfortable that the wife reached out to us mm -hmm. to donate. Like she was just like, my husband, he already works for the sperm bank. Da 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 da. He's done his testing. She gave us everything we needed to know, mm -hmm. and we just set up a Zoom call with him next, and we just got on there and was getting to know them they was getting to know us it was pretty quick y'all yeah it was like maybe like literally like five minutes like just like yeah. an introduction like it thing. felt so unreal it felt so and the, unreal they're both water signs we're yes. both water signs it the felt, baby's gonna be water uh, sign like it just felt so unreal like is this really happening like it felt unreal because it was so comfortable and we were already in uncomfortable situations <sighs> asking people it was crazy y'all it was so emotionally crazy yeah it's emotionally overwhelming like yeah. it's a consistent like up and down but down, up and down, up and down. disappointment like, excitement yeah. disappointment excitement like literally like that and as y'all seen in our pregnancy announcement video we had lots of times we was excited while we were inseminating and all that shit and then gonna be the one. yeah and then getting negatives but and then it's just the waiting <sighs> period i think that's like bad like not knowing whether or not you're you're pregnant you can't like it ain't no way you could just like no like it's not one of those things where you can just like wake up tomorrow but like, oh let me test i like, know mm -hmm. you still gotta wait like a, two weeks yeah i was gonna say like a week or two to even find out like it's it's yeah it is a lot i will say like because the issue was really, really, really persistent. I'm like, find one, find one, find one, find one, find one. And I was telling her, like, you know, they're going to come. You know, this is next. going to be at the right time. 
but it do be hard to keep your faith. Yeah. Like, it be very, very, very hard to like know. Like you can say it all day, but like to know mm-hmm. for sure, like okay, it is gonna come at the right time. But then now that it's yeah, here, and I did wait. Like I didn't make no other posts and a thing and shit. I think I think it was like a almost a week later of mm-hmm. us just leaving it the fuck alone and. And then you got the message. wife messaged us and was like, "Hey, I seen y'all's post." I was like, Man, <laughs> "No way!" We just started meeting up with them. We did AI with them three times. I want to say. I left three or four. Yeah, Something fourth like time was the charm. I want to say was it, it was either the third or fourth. I can't even remember. I, I kept know saying it was third time is the charm. Time. Third time is the charm. I kept saying it. Let me see. Yeah, we started with them in March. Yeah, we started with them in March. And we didn't skip a month. We did. We skipped, we skipped one, April. We skipped April? Yeah, we had skipped April because um, we got a negative in March. And I was it March? I'm checking, guys. I feel like we thought we was going to skip a month, but then we ended up not skipping. Like, it was one of those where you're like, no, I'm not going to skip. Like, oh, we need to do it this time. We need to do it this time. But, child, we didn't have so many. I really can't even remember. Lost my job, remember? In oh, yeah. April. I mean, in March. Yeah, you started working at NDP. Yes. And then you started working at Yummy in, in April. April. Yeah. yeah. So, we didn't try again until May. And then, third time was the charm in June. I got so in June. As y'all know. Mm-hmm. And we were already scrambling up trying to figure out how we was going to get, make it. Because we didn't have a car anymore. And they're not in our area. Like, they're like, yes. they're still three three to four hours away. Yes. So a good far. thing they're still in Texas. After the other negative, the second negative, I stopped tracking. Like, I, I, we were, I was so unmotivated. Because that was like... Mm-hmm. My seventh time, I want to say, getting disseminated. It's just that like... That shit is hard. Like, to just keep up. Like, not to keep up, but just, like, to keep your faith. Like, all right, bro. We just want to do fucking adoption or something. Yeah. Like and mm-hmm. you're a lesbian and you keep getting filled with sperm. Like... Your body's not used... Your body has to re... I mean, yeah, like, damn near re get used mm-hmm. to sperm going in because we don't have no sperm. Yeah. And my stomach was... Like, I mean, if y'all don't know, but when you get inseminated and you not used to it your stomach cramps like you're about to start your cycle so like i was in pain after mm-hmm. inseminations and shit and i was like oh well maybe it's the baby like maybe the sperm has met the egg da, 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 da. You know, so yeah getting used to fucking sperm inside a period yeah so coming june after because like i said we our car was gone i didn't have time to track I, I my mom wasn't focused on tracking and one random and night, it's five months. So yeah, we getting parties, busy. Deals we were just busy. We were just busy. Yeah. And one night, I literally was like, "Let me just test, y'all." I test that shit, and I said, "We have to leave in two days." Like I was already starting to peak, and mm-hmm. we needed to inseminate on peak day. Now, mind you, saying we have to leave in two days, and you don't have a car. Yes, don't have a car, and the two days was within a week. So we had to leave on a Thursday and we still work Monday through Friday. Yeah, so leave on Thursday, <sighs> literally have to come back on a Thursday because you have to get ready to go to work. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm going through and, my phone. And to, it's four hours away. Yeah, y'all. Like, I'm I'm just going back to look at this shit. It wouldn't be that bad if motherfuckers lived like down the street. Like, okay, cool. I'll be over in like 15 minutes. But I have to literally drive out there and drive back that same night because... We got work in the morning. And we can't miss it because then you skipping a month. And she yep. didn't. I said, let's just skip a month because it was urgent. Like, it was just too much going on. Like, I couldn't focus. Yes. But, but I was like, signs. It was signs for me, y'all. Mm-hmm. Third time the charm. I just felt like we shouldn't skip. I had some feeling. Like, because we were so down in that moment, I felt like it was going to be a miracle. You know? Like, mm-hmm. and it was. But... <laughs> Yeah, I had some feeling. Christine literally was like, we should just get, we should just get, we're rushing in. Like, we don't have a rental. We had to book a rental the and next day. we didn't have no money like Yeah, that. Like, we didn't we have, At that yeah. point, like, we can't afford to stay that. We, like, it, it was just too much. Like, what are we going to do? We're going to call up for work tomorrow? Yeah, we, we didn't gonna, even have money for an Airbnb. Yeah, so, like, we're literally making a turnaround trip two, four hours away. Like, that ain't nothing you can just hop up and just, like, do. That's why I said it'd be different if people stayed down the street then i could just come over real quick yeah they were still three hours away yeah 
Yep, this is the picture. 10.50 p.m. We had just made it to Houston. Mm -hmm. um, just got off at like 6. And we had to drive back three and a half hours back home. That the same, same night. night. The same night. And when I tell y'all, we, I think we cried. Like, we cried before. You cried. Yeah, I cried. Like, the day before because I felt like we were just... I knew we was rushing and Christine didn't have as much faith. But I felt like I, we needed to. Like, it was just so confusing. And I was like, is this going to be another disappointing moment? Are we doing all this for nothing? Because every time we take a trip, it's like, are we doing it for nothing? Like, mm -hmm. and because the past times we were doing it for nothing. Like, we were spending fucking money for nothing. Like, because it didn't work? Yes, but ugh, thank God we had the donors. Like, they was like, we'll wait on y'all. Da 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 da. Like, take y'all's time. They were so understanding with us um, with everything. Like, they wanted to keep updated us mm -hmm. to keep them updated with everything just thank god for them um they made they so yeah they made this whole process so so like smooth still communicate with them and everything because they were so genuine and so nice like and we really wouldn't have a baby without y'all like yes like, we, we wouldn't have we, we physically cannot do it by yes ourselves. like that's that's the crazy part like, for once took forever to message us back like they were very much on it what well, a wife was and yeah like the husband you know he I mean, was just doing what the wife there, said yeah. yeah and he was cool with it or whatever yeah. he was like I mean, the wife was just like, every time, sorry, he's shy, he's shy. Mm -hmm. Like, that he would come out to speak, and then, like, yeah. after, you know what I'm saying, he wouldn't, he wouldn't bring us to cup. It would always be the wife or whatever. Yeah. But, but I yeah. understand, like, that probably was awkward. Like, y'all just, I just did this for y'all. Yeah. Like, it was so crazy, but. <sighs> so, yeah, that night, did what we had to do. Take made it back home. Minutes. Yeah, made it back home, what, like, two, three in the morning. Mm hmm Had work at <sighs> eight. Yeah. And I just remember us kept talking about it, like, what, I hope that worked. Like, I just hope that worked. Like, we but we just, did do something differently that time, too. What? We, uh, I went in deeper. Oh, yeah. So, yeah oh, my God. Rewind, y'all. Before we had this insemination, we did mm -hmm. a pregnancy reading. Yep. I found two. this lady, two of them. The first lady, she don't matter because she was, like, $5. But the second lady, I paid, like, $30 for, and I found her on TikTok and no i found her in these pregnancy group chats <laughs> and they was like she's good she's good she's good this lady here was right on spot with everything y'all that's why you didn't want to skip a month too yes that was another reason why i had so much faith like this lady uh, she was so on spot with everything i could cry right now how on spot she was <laughs> Like, she predicted, she told us to look for pink flowers. We have this tree right here in front of us. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it has pink flowers on it anymore. Oh, yeah, it does, a little bit. This tree, we've been here for three years. We never noticed pink flowers on this tree. Mm -hmm. uh, I took and the one, it's one in the back of us. Like yeah, And then it's another one in the front. And the one in the front, we never noticed either. Yes, y'all, and I took so many pictures of trees, and <laughs> so many pictures of trees. Yeah, I did. Like it's like after she said that, I kept seeing the pink trees. I kept seeing the pink trees, and um, we were we were just driving, going to the store. We saw the pink trees. We never noticed the trees with the pink flowers mm -hmm. until after this lady said something. And they're like all in our fucking area. Like uh, these. I'm gonna I'm put it on the screen, but. It, it was crazy, like, how many times we saw this this tree with the pink flowers. And she was like, that is your sign for fertility. And that was right after um, we found a peak and everything, like, around that time. And that's why I was, like, so certain we need to go. What was another thing she said? It was the, she said that she seen it at the end of the month, like, she sees conception. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. She said she see conception at the end of, um, for June, the end of June, and if not June... September for sure. Mm -hmm. Like it skipped a month. Y'all, yes. And when I tell y'all, we found out at the end of the June, which is fucking crazy. And she predicted a girl, so we will see. We will in about see. two weeks, she predicted a girl. If if it is a girl, I have to book that lady again. I, I don't even know. I, I ain't getting pregnant again, but I'm gonna give y'all her information and yeah. shit because she she was spot the fuck on like with everything. Everything up related up to the pregnancy. Um, we just have to confirm the gender, but it wasn't out. I don't think it was one thing yeah. that she said I'm that. Trying to really recall the whole. Yeah, um, uh, that was just crazy. So that was another reason why we say yes, we need to do this shit tonight. Like, 
let's just do it. We've been sending these pink flowers and shit. Like, yeah. we just need to do it. So, yeah, I came back home three, whatever. And, yeah, a couple of days later, that's when I started seeing fake lines and shit. And I was like, no, mother. And it wasn't even the type way. of fake lines. Like, previously, whenever she would say she would see fake lines, like, niggas would have to, like, squint, Yeah, like, we was, they were squinters. Down, like, down. very much squinters. Oh, Except okay. for that um, first time. With the first donor, and we had a chemical pregnancy. We yeah. did have a line, but it faded it away yeah. within a day. And that this was, one, it started and got darker, darker, darker. Bro, darker. when I tell y'all, it you wasn't no squint. It. Yeah, it wasn't no squinting. I was, I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know the bitch. I can't really see it. I can't really see it. And then, but on them ones, I was like, okay. But after that, baby, them ones got darker and darker. Like, yeah, they, you can tell. yeah. And then eventually, we just had a whole bunch of double lines, y'all. It was crazy. Dark names. Yeah, and it was just, it was so amazing to, like, watch it get darker and darker and darker. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I would say 10 DPO, we got our positive on the fucking digital. And, yeah, that's the video that y'all seen of she us. So surprised me with some donuts. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes, y'all. It was it was such a crazy 11 months emotionally draining physically getting inseminated financially financially draining like That's where you ask me yeah now we after we have announced it's been a journey as well um mm, but as far as like sickness and shit i was sick I was sick in a very, I would say the very beginning. Like, it was just like some adjusting that was happening with my body that I was trying to figure out what was going on. Like, I would be nauseous. It was the smell shit. Like, I was just getting used to all these this new shit. Like, the smell, my um, my bowel movements and stuff. It was a lot of stuff. Getting used to peeing and yeah, it was crazy. Um, I think what really hit us was that I was pregnant for real for real was um I want to say it was the day we was doing a gender reveal te <laughs> test oh no because like you was been I ate now. some goldfish y'all I ate some goldfish and some what was that no, that was when we did the gender reveal test Oh yeah, that was. I knew you was pregnant for real whenever we was out there drinking and everybody was saying how hot that was and this motherfucker was standing by the oven with a robe on like saying that she was cold. Like, yes. It's <laughs> real. And um, I came home and I was like, it smells like mop water. It smells like, this was before I even got a positive. And my friend was like, um, my sister, she got pregnant and that's all she kept saying before she uh, found out. And I was like, I don't know, y'all, but it really smelled like mop water. This is the same night. Yeah, we didn't mop. Yeah, we didn't mop. We, we need to mop. It wasn't no mop water anywhere. And this is the same night I was standing by the oven cooking it. The next day is when we found out we was pregnant. Like, I immediately had sex in there. That, I mean, that's all right. Baby. Yes, like, that's crazy. Uh, shit, ever since then, it's, it's been up. We had, we've had, we had, like, three or four do doctor's appointments, three or four sonograms by now. Um, baby is growing on point. Um, it's still every sonogram they've been early. I mean, not early. They've been yeah early, growing mm -hmm. earlier than when they're supposed to. Um, last one I went to, I was seven weeks exactly, but the baby was measuring eight weeks. Yeah. The one before that, I don't remember, but I know I was measuring some days ahead. And today I'm sick nine weeks and five days but the baby was measuring exactly at 10 weeks today yeah. that's gonna be a good baby yeah so they've been measuring ahead of his time <laughs> every time today we saw him kicking their little feet like, oh my god feet? hearing a heartbeat um was so emotional it was it was crazy it she was crazy i do y'all my emotions have been out of line she been grumpy I've been yeah, and I I could I could say that that could be a that could be another reason why we feel like we're having a girl. Like girls are moody, and I have been moody. I thought I wasn't moody in the beginning, y'all. He's very she's very irritable. 
Yeah, irritable and I can't hold nothing back. It's so hard. So that's what's been going on, guys. She's been pretty nice to me though. Yes, I have. I've definitely it's literally just me. <laughs> I've definitely been nice to Christine. It's probably because I make her eggs every morning. Yes. Oh my god, I eat eggs every day. Every day she wants boiled eggs. And every morning. Toast. The only reason why I haven't made her toast is because we don't have no grape jelly. But she eats toast and eggs every morning and drinks tea. Yeah, that's been helping me. In the beginning, I didn't even like sweets, y'all. Mm -mm. I ate nothing but seafood, but my cravings have completely turned to like sweets and like she be wanting fucking cheesecake and ice cream yes. and strawberry and shit. So, and I swear it was a boy in the beginning, but that that all of this has been making me change. Baby's heartbeat has been high every time. Girl, yeah, girls have high heart rates. <sighs> They make you moody. They make you moody. They be on your left side. I can only sleep on my left side. The baby don't like when I sleep on my right side. When we go to sonograms, the baby is on my left side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girls make you moody. My belly was low in the beginning. Now it's high. Yeah. Um, It's been crazy. It's just been a journey. And we just wanted to update y'all on a lot of questions that we've been seeing. Give y'all some answers to some questions y'all haven't even asked. I would say um, for any for any couple that is trying, keep trying. Yeah. Like, I know it's motherfucking easier said than done, but literally keep trying and just like, I don't know, like, I guess just keep your face. Like, I always knew, like, I was the one that would always tell her, like, Davisha would be like a chicken with their head cut off. Like, no, we have to find a donor, have to find a donor, gotta find a donor. Like, I kept on telling her, like, you know, just relax, just relax, just relax. But I also understand, like... We're not a straight couple. You have to fucking like put in mm -hmm. the work. You have to find one. But just know that it will come whenever it's supposed to come. I can honestly say that like with the baby coming now, I feel like it's a perfect time. Like I don't know, it just gives you like an extra push, like an extra you know that you're doing some shit for a reason. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you have to get it together for a reason. Like it just gives you an extra push and motivation and I feel like that's what you may not think you need it, but you probably do. And yeah, it'll just come when it's supposed to come. You can, it's something that you can't control anyway. So mm -hmm. like, you gotta just let it flow. You can find a donor, but it's, you still, I mean, you still gotta wait. Like it's yeah. still, it's still a 50, 50 chance. So just and keep on trying. Even then, like we plant zodiac signs of what we want the baby to be in everything. We never plant for a Pisces. Never. I didn't, <laughs> and I'm a Pisces. Like, yeah, we I, never plant for a Pisces. We wanted an Aquarius or a Libra or a Capricorn. A Capricorn, yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't, I don't, I don't mind a water sign, but I think that's like now that I think about it, I think it's like really cute. Like a Cancer mom, a Pisces mom. Yeah, like, and the cute. donor was a Pisces, and yeah. his wife was a Scorpio. It's just like we're all water, we're signs. All water signs, even the baby. So even the baby. that's fucking insane. That's something we never thought about either. Um, yeah, y'all, it's just so wild. Like the signs of everything mm -hmm. and. When you just let shit flow, because I'm telling you, we rushed and we was just like, we rushed, but we also wasn't thinking too much on it. Like, yeah, we like didn't, don't work. yeah, we didn't do like our normal, like pre seed and all of that. We didn't even do that this time. Like, didn't even track. Yeah, didn't even track. Like, we just, we were just like, fuck it, let's just do it. Let's the just. only thing that we did differently was from that reading, the lady said, I don't know how y'all are doing Oh, it, yes, yes. But That's why we brought up the reading. Yeah. But go deeper. So we yes. Were like, what the fuck does go deeper mean? Oh, my God. Like, we're not, yes. We're not a straight couple. Like, if you are doing AI, the whatever you insert, whatever you use to insert the sperm into your partner, I would definitely say go as deep as you can. Like, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter what tool you use and just like literally go as deep 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 deep, deep as you can like i would say that's the only thing that we did differently this time besides like not tracking and all that stuff yes yeah. like i literally just pushed it all the way in and then i pushed the sperm in like i made sure the the little um inseminator whatever you call it, yeah was in all the way but that's really it like i don't oh in the last two times we did use the uh, menstrual cups uh flex oh, yeah, cups yeah, yeah. We so, like, after she inseminated, we put the cup inside us, and it basically just holds all the sperm right onto your cervix. Mm -hmm. And which is crazy is I did it right every other time, but this time I fucked up and put it in backwards. 
So I was so nervous. And she had nails. So yes, hard, and too. I yeah, and I didn't have nails last time, and I was just nervous that it didn't work. Mm -hmm. I was just like, "What the fuck?" I put the cup in backwards, and I had to take the cup out and put it back in. Yeah. So then you worried about like sperm. Yeah, like sitting on the back. outside of yeah. it instead. It was just so. And then whenever you took it out that next morning, it was like a lot left in there. Yeah, so she it was. was. Nervous that it wasn't enough that like went inside but shit somebody made it to the goddamn okay somebody did and like i said we didn't use pre-seed this time we didn't we even tried the mucinex shit that was way with the other donor like we just did natural literally like, except for the cup and the syringe like that's literally all we had y'all that's it um oh i was take i have been taking prenatals before that i was taking um eu natural prenatals pink with green and say glow yeah and i also took one conception pill um eu natural conception you're supposed to take those every day but it fucked up my cycle the first time i did and um yeah i just decided to take one i think it's like two or three days before we tried and i don't know if that did anything but i doubted it but yeah i was definitely on prenatals before um and it's cra crazy. I was taking two of them then, but now I can't even handle two. Mm -mm. <laughs> I got to take one, or I'm throwing up everywhere. But yeah, y'all, that 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 was our 11 month journey yep. of trying to create baby DK. Lord, and now they're here. They're healthy. They have a good heart rate. Yeah, I'm healthy. I have to gain like 30 pounds, but other than that. Here. We just wait. waiting, y'all. We just wait, and we get our gender reveal in two weeks. Um, we did um, an early gender reveal test for our gender reveal, which is crazy because a week after we'll find out our real gender of the baby. So, hopefully, the sneak peek is correct. If it wasn't, y'all will know. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it's just an exciting time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're about to move, so yes. we're going on that journey. Y'all, we moving a month, a month, y'all, a month. Mm -hmm. And we're so excited just for new journeys, new car, new house, new baby. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for being a part of this journey. If you have been a part since day one, since we've been, mm -hmm. since we were fucking crazy and buying buckets of baby clothes without even a donor in mind <laughs> without even a donor in mind y'all we just knew we wanted a baby so we just was manifesting this and which wasn't bad at the end of the day yeah you stuck at your yes like yeah just thank y'all for just supporting us since day one because since day one when we was doing the clothing baby hauls y'all were like oh my god i can't mm -hmm. wait i can't wait and now that it's just here it's just uh blissful <laughs> literally like i cannot wait till they get to come Yes. Oh, really? I I can't wait till I get to know what they are, and then I can't wait until they get to come out. Because yeah. once I know what they are, that's gonna distract me, like buying all this like girly pink shit, mm -hmm. or this, like cool ass hot wheel shit or something. I don't know. Yeah. And so morning sickness hasn't been a. I mean, it's been a thing, but I've only thrown up morning sickness like four or five times. Yeah, we haven't been to the hospital. For yeah, haven't been to the hospital for nothing serious. I haven't been bleeding, y'all. Cross my fingers. Um. Everything's been good. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's like a miracle baby, like literally like a miracle baby. Okay, you see and I say miracle baby because y'all know my cousin passed away on the night, and the baby's due on the night. The actual day that the baby is due though is my grandmother's passing day. Like my baby's due on that day on that the night. Like number nine was one of the numbers. Yeah, just number nine is has been a number for us, and it's just been crazy. This is this will be crazy if it's a girl. Yep. like a reincarnation thing going on it'll it'll blow my mind <laughs> mm -hmm. it will blow my mind and i will ask this baby so many questions because are you my grandmother are you my little cousin like what's going on right but yes y'all everything has been good and yeah we just yeah christine has been an amazing partner I do my thing. Okay. She's been taking care of me. She's really been the only person really here. Like I, I done, I done lost to almost all of my friends, y'all, because it's, it's. I mean, pregnancy be lonely, and you don't align with other people's lives anymore. So, for some of those people, you don't become as important anymore. But I mean, it is what it is. It's not. 
it's it's sad, but I have everything that I need here. So yeah. I haven't been really tripping that much. I have my family, and like I said, we about to move. We got a new yeah, car. We got, we got other remember. shit going on. We're gonna plan our baby moon, y'all, because of my blackout periods are coming up with my job. So we got to take it about a month early, and yeah. yeah, it's just a lot going on. But we're excited. A lot of planning. Yeah, a lot of planning because yeah. after that, the baby shower's coming in. Yeah. The baby's and the coming. Baby comes, and then my birthday. And then then we can probably take a rest. Yeah. Literally. But everything else is supposed to move very fast. Yeah, it is. Um, September to December be a blur every year for me. Because Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, yeah. it's just doing too much. Yeah, it just be a blur for me. New Year's, it just be, whoa, hold on. Everyone says we're having a baby in a perfect timing. Like, yeah. uh, summertime is a perfect time. Baby being born during spring is perfect. It's like, just... If the baby's born on the night, we're going to be six days apart. Like, baby. Yeah. Don't matter. And if they're late, we're, we're going to be even closer. I don't give a fuck. If you're a boy, yeah. we, don't, we can do high wheels. We can do cars. I don't give a fuck. We can do babe supreme. If you're a girl, we're definitely doing princess. Don't matter. Yeah. Or Beyonce. Okay. We could do a renaissance party. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah, let me do a bump date with y'all. And then we're going to close out this video. Oh. She's in her drawers. Yeah, my pregnancy drawers. Yeah, family. family is hard right here. Yeah, they, they be on that side. Mm -hmm. That's where they be. That's where they be. Yep. Oh, but... Yes, y'all. Other than that, thank y'all for watching. Tune in and continue to watch our old videos and our future upcoming videos because we have a we have some content to do. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss every single time we post. Kiss your granny, take out your trash, and wash your ass. And we'll see y'all on the next video. I know you want me. I know you want me.